Map artwork is a really popular genre. You can find prints on Etsy, Redbubble, or all sorts of print-on-demand stores. But if you're crafty, you can actually make your own map design. So in this video, I'm going to showcase a great resource where you can make your own map designs quickly, easily, and for free. And these are even useful for commercial purposes, like if you want to create map designs for sale on Etsy or for your own business. Let's go. The website that you can use to make your own maps is called snazzymaps.com. And if I scroll right down to the bottom, I'm going to see there's different styles of maps and they all mirror Google Maps. So the idea is you can select a style and then type in your location, zoom in, zoom out, and then create your own map artwork. Now, right down at the bottom, it says all styles are licensed under Creative Commons and are completely free to use. Okay, so there's a bunch of different styles you can use here for these maps. There's most recent, there's most popular, and then down at the bottom, you can explore different styles. So I'm gonna click this Explore Styles and that'll come up with a bunch of different maps. Now you can search for the style, you can sort by, you can filter by tag. I just, you know, if this is your first time on the website, I would just recommend you just scroll through and just check out. There's thousands of pages of these different styles. Now it's all based on Google Maps, but the idea here is that there's different visuals. Sometimes the words are on there, sometimes the words are not on there. Sometimes the ocean is highlighted, sometimes it's not. So I'm going to pick something here that's kind of cool. I'm just going to go to page two. We'll just pick something here at random. Let's say I wanted to pick this roadie map, okay? So I'm going to click the roadie map. Now it gives me this code right out of the gates here. I'm just going to remove that by clicking the little minus button over here. And we can see here this is now the map. Now if I want to zoom in, I'll just double click it. That'll zoom in closer. And if I want to zoom out, I actually hold down the alt key, sorry, the control key, and then I use my mouse wheel and I can scroll back out. So I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Now I can also just punch in a location. So over on the right hand side, I can search for a location. So let's say I wanted to do Chicago instead of New York. So I'll type in Chicago and this will give me now the map of Chicago. I can zoom out. So now I could take that and I can basically make a design off of it. I could either use a screenshot. I could also just click this little thing here, this download image button on the right hand side. You'll see it's jiggling there. So when I click on download image, it will give me back this image. Now again, I could scroll in as much or as little as I wanted. So I really like this tool because you can make neighborhood maps. So if you're running like a local map business, for example, and you're like, you know, living in the Chicago area, there's what, 300 different little neighborhoods all around the Chicago, Illinois area. So you could make 300 different maps all for individual neighborhoods. Or you can just type on some totally random, you know, if you're living in some tiny town, like so for example, you know, maybe you're in Canada and you go to Thunder Bay, Ontario. There's the map for Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's not quite as exciting as New York City, mind you, but there's the map. So you could have, you know, there's Port Arthur up in the north and there's Fort William down in the south and there's Lake Superior here. Now, you're, there's a million different designs, like, you know, to, to look at. Here's Assassin's Creed. We'll pick on this one. So I'm going to type in New York and I'll pick off the list there. It'll reset. And there's New York. Now you'll notice there's no words on it, but that's just because of the style that I selected. So I could... There's the little wharfs here, you know, in New York. So it'll just take a second to load in. So if you didn't like this style, then you would just go back to the main page and you could just pick another style. So some people really like arty maps where they would put the font in down at the bottom. Other people really just like more straight ahead maps. So like here's just a regular like road map. So you could use this for example. So this is New York, Statue of Liberty. Here it is here. There's the Lower East Side, there's Dumbo, Brooklyn Bridge. So if you wanted to make a map of Manhattan, here you go. But it has all of the map identifiers, Lower Manhattan, Two Bridges, Chinatown, Lower East Side, Financial District, Dumbo. So 
this could be an option. Again, you can just use the scroll wheel here to zoom in or zoom out, and you could make the map as big or as small as you want. I can roll out. Now it's going to take a while to, um, to load in, but there's like a map of New York State. So you could even have that as well. It's got highway designs. And then scrolling in and out really gives you an idea. So if you just wanted to do a map of Chinatown, for example, you can scroll right in. And then you can see all the different things inside of Chinatown. So if you're using it for an art project, if you're using it for just regular maps, this is a great design. You can also filter by color as well. So when it says explore styles at the top, I'm going to click that and I can go filter by color. So let's say I wanted to do like a red map. Okay. Now it's going to give me back red maps with red in it. So if you wanted to do like, I'm going to do this two tone one. If you wanted to do an art project, I'm going to type in the word New York. Just, it just resets back to the beginning here. And then I can just scroll in. So maybe I wanted to do an art project where my map was all red and the ocean was like a really, really dark blue or a black. So this is an option. Then to download it, you just click on this download image over here and then you need to register and sign in, but it's very easy to do. And what'll happen is you'll wind up getting a pretty high quality JPEG file that you can use. And you can also put this in a website you can save it as a picture file and then you can you know, edit it in Photoshop if you wanted. You can make this as detailed as you want or maybe no details at all. It totally depends. It's a great, great resource that I've used quite a bit to create my own maps and then you can just modify them as needed. So I hope you found that helpful. If you liked the video, please do click that like button. Consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much.